Hi, in this video series, I'm going to show you how we at Solara Technical go about defining a complete power system. I'll post these videos every week on Thursday, so please watch for them. As promised in my previous video, today I'll show you what a passive optical network is and the basic topologies used to power it. A passive optical network is a fiber optic point to multipoint network. A single optical fiber serves multiple endpoints by using unpowered or passive optic splitters to divide the bandwidth among multiple endpoints, known as access points. A passive optical network consists of three main sections, an optical line terminal, or OLT, at the head end of the network, an optical splitter to distribute the bandwidth to each endpoint, and a number of endpoints commonly called either optical network units or optical network terminals. For a more extensive education on the optical side of these networks, check out the Association for Passive Optical Local Area Networks at apollonglobal.org. Returning to the diagram, you'll notice there are no copper wires in the fiber distribution, so there's no way to pass electrons, that is power, from end to end. Because of this, there are only two basic ways to power the electronics, remotely at each and every load or through a copper network that's parallel to the fiber network. If the application can tolerate a complete shutdown when utility power to the building fails, powering each load locally should be fine. When backup power is required, replicating it at every load is expensive and difficult to maintain unless the entire building has an uninterruptible power system or UPS already in place. Some hospitals, for example, are designed this way. Still, local powering with local backup is rare. The typical solution is a parallel copper network shown here. This is the network we'll assume for our design example. The class 1 48 volt is used to power the head end or OLT of the network. The power limiters are positioned at the same physical location as the passive optical splitters. The output of each splitter will accompany a power limited DC copper pair, often run through compound cables specifically designed to do exactly this. Optical network terminals are designed to receive the fiber and the DC pair, where they convert them into power over ethernet or PoE. This PoE port in turn powers and communicates with various PoE devices like cameras, computers, and telephones. In the next video, we'll start our deep dive into our power design using this parallel copper network topology. Thanks for listening. And if you need help with anything related to power, please reach out to us. It costs you nothing to chat. Until next time, have a great week.